Hey you guys, I just got a load going to, uh, I gotta go pick it up in Farmington, Illinois, and uh, it's going to someplace out in Texas, but he said they bid it at 80 cents a mile, and it's exactly 888 miles. You see what I'm saying about the numbers, man? I mean, come on, you guys. Listen, I also want to say something really quick because I gotta go. I don't have very much time and I gotta hit the road. Um, this is a warning to the uh, scoffing, okay? I know many people are um, possessed by demonic spirits such as that. If you're not one of them, or if you're able to resist this thing and get it out of you, please, I pray that you are able to do it. First, the only way you're going to be able to do it is to get out the hatred and bitterness towards me or anyone else okay you can't have that that's how they can have a hold on you you got to resist these things please try to resist them i'm warning you for those that are watching there's a reason why you're watching now i blocked you on here to not to where you can't watch the videos but where we can uh help one another okay now anybody that's overcoming this stuff and they're trying to um uh, you know i told you you can email me and as long as you have a change of heart and you're trying to get do what's right, I'll, I'll let you back on this channel. Yeah, I will. But not to argue or bicker or anything. And we're not to have a spirit of fear. Okay? Now, you guys, I want you to read in St. Luke. I'm going to read it really quick. Um, chapter 21, 9 through 24. Okay? These are very important things, okay? We're not to have a spirit of fear, okay? Also, um, you know, it says we're to warn the wicked, you know, which I'm doing this all the time. Now, as far as warning the wicked, you know, <laughs> I don't see how you could do that at this point, but, you know, just putting out our videos, that's the best way I could think of right now. Um, there's some things right there I wrote down, okay? Ezekiel. A couple of them. In Genesis. Also, in Genesis here, I wanted to read this one. Um, knowing Jesus, okay? Genesis. There's another one in there where it states uh, um, where God got in touch with uh, one of them about being careful what you say to Jacob. Because I guess Jacob had some power, and God warned somebody about that. I believe that was in uh, Genesis 41, 28 through 32. Yeah, Genesis chapter 41, 28 through 32. Then also, I had a star beside Matthews 24, 6 through 7. Check this out, you guys. Okay, you can pause this. And please read these, okay? I wanted to do all this as much as I could right now with you guys, but now I gotta head out. They called me for this. How about that, man? They said it's exactly 888 miles to where I'm going to in San Antonio, Texas, and I'm getting 80 cents a mile. 888 miles. That's what they got on their uh, thing, what they program their mileage thing. That's what they're paying me for, 888 miles. Um, you guys, listen. We don't hate anybody. I don't hate these golfers, people coming against me. But I do highly recommend that you uh, try to resist and get that out of you, this hatred, this bitterness. It's a spirit. It's a spirit that you're battling against, okay? Okay. That's what it is. It's truly a spirit. I promise you. That's what you're fighting against. It's a spirit. Okay? Remember, we were created. And these spirits, uh, they, they're literally able to come in and host you like a puppet. Okay? That's why you see them when they spit their tongue out really fast. Out of the side of their mouth, you, it, you, your eye wouldn't even see it. They're so fast. You know? When people are trying to say that I did stuff like that, because sometimes I might lick my lips like like that right there. 
That's because I'm drinking these drinks. I get this sweet tea and I got honey in it and uh, you lick your lips, you know? It's uh, sticky sweetness. But uh, that's what that is. But you guys, listen. We're not to have a spirit of fear, okay? Trust in the Lord. We're already where we are. That's why I watch a lot of these videos, man, uh, concerning the uh, concerning the end times that we're in right now. I'm always watching them because time is up. Ain't that something? They got me a load real quick. I just got here. Just got here. Time's up, you guys. We don't know how much time there is left, but there's going to be um, wars, rumors of wars, and there's going to be bad stuff happening. You can count on it. These are the days of evil. Ick, evil. But also, I want to say something to you, to you guys, okay? And remember this. Sin is sin to God. This homosexual lifestyle, it's not any different than... You know, it's a demonic spirit. You have to overcome it, you know. Um, that's why I say the attacks that we have. Um, even adultery, it's just as bad. It's equally as bad. Looking at pornography, it's just as bad. Um, I did that. I did that. I told you guys. I watched pornography. Now, somebody on there said that I was uh, looking at uh, child porn. That's a lie. I've never looked at that stuff. Um, I've seen where they popped up stuff, you know, like that. It would pop up on the screen, and I would delete it and delete it and delete it. But uh, I never watched that stuff. And how it could even pop up on the screen is beyond its evil, you know. But uh, trust me, man, I've confessed my sins on live video where everybody could see it, not just here in America but around the world. Um there are no secrets, okay? You might think you have secrets in your mind, but the Lord knows, okay? That's why I say um, sin is sin. Now, you do something to a child, there I don't think there is no forgiveness for that. You're in big trouble because there's a warning about that. You harm children, do anything towards children. You don't even want to be thinking things towards children. You know what I mean? Because even with your thought... It's uh, as bad as the sin itself uh, from the Lord. If you looked at a woman even with lustful eyes, that's sin. That's why I say we should have all been repented already and been following the Lord. I got a jam, jam you guys. Um, program where I'm going. Um, it's very important, you guys. We don't want to have a spirit of fear, okay? Now, people out there, if you're able to repent and come to the Lord... Okay, now you can't say that you come to the Lord and be have a hate towards other people. You can't because the Bible's clear about that. And it even tells me that I can't have hatred towards you. So if you show, find yourself hatred towards me or another person, you're not following the Lord. You know, it's easy to test all spirits. And I hope and pray that you're able to um, realize this and see it. You know, but I know that I've been, I've had it shown to me that there's demonic spirits totally hosting people like puppets. And their strength will grow and grow and grow over you if you don't come to the Lord. You know, that's why he says, draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. You know, if you're drawing close to the Lord, it's the only way you're going to overcome these spirits. Okay. Now, I keep this channel clear of the arguing and bickering because. I want people on this channel to be growing towards the Lord, being a member of, of the Lord, producing fruit, okay? And I know if I had all these golfers constantly on here, all that I've got blocked right now, we would not be able to read our comments towards one another, and everything that we would be reading and seeing would cause so many people to be arguing and bickering and not growing in the Lord, and I'm not going to have that. You know, but I do make a mention of this, you know, for the sake of those who are bitter and full of anger and hatred that you let this stuff go because it's going to it's going to it's going to cause you your internal soul, your internal soul. OK, and it even says in the Bible, God takes no pleasure in this. 
that list that I showed you, it's in there. It says God, he does not take any pleasure in what he's going to be doing. And he will do it. You can be sure of it. All right. Well, I'm surprised I got out of here that fast. I mean, I got trucks all around me that have been here before I got here. And I just got here. You know? Talk about the Lord working, huh? And then I got 80 cents a mile. And from where my pickup is, I'm going 888 miles. You see what I'm saying? I know there's somebody out there that would say uh, the numbers are just a bunch of Huey. But uh, I think they're a little bit more than that. You know, I took that photo in 77. I traveled down 77. My shower was on seven, customer number 77. Last week, they held back $770, which I'm getting this week, combined with my check that they owed me, which takes it to $2,100 exactly, which over three days, I'm going to get $777. And now I'm going to travel 888 miles, you know? I mean, come on, guys. This ain't no coincidence, man. And uh, I'm going to be, he's going to be sending it to me here just in a second where I'm going to, but anyhow, they told me to head out because the load's ready to pick up right now. I told them, either way, I'll have to pull over to program it. It's 70 miles from here where I have to pick up. But God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you, man. I hope and pray that you get something out of this. And remember this, you guys. Don't hate any of these people that are even speaking against me or anybody else. We need to be growing in our spirit, focusing on growing towards Christ, being a member of Christ. That's why we, we've we been uh, separated, to grow towards Christ, but not to be have a hateful heart towards anybody, okay? If anything, um, pray for them, you know? Just pray for them, you know, that they can overcome. You know, I've done it with my brother, my sisters, um, and, you know... It's a battle. You know, you got these things in you. It's a battle. We have to overcome them. We have to overcome them. Google that for those that overcome. And see what it says. Jesus says that several times for those that overcome. You know, there's a mystery. The Bible's a mystery, you guys. And uh, Jesus is not looking for cowards either. But he doesn't want you going, put sticking your chest out and causing trouble either, you know. But he doesn't want you to be a coward. In other words, trust in him. Just trust in him. Have faith in him. Don't have don't put your faith in a man. Don't put your faith in me either. You know, I'm just here uh, a messenger. The Lord used me. Put your faith in Jesus Christ. That's where my faith is. I promise you, that's where my faith is. I love each and every one of you. God bless you. And thank you, Crystal, for uh, always sharing your psalms on this channel. I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much.